morning my loves and welcome to a new vlog how are we all doing i hope we are all very very well i honestly have had a very strange week i missed last sunday's upload I'm, I'm a bit off schedule at the moment and i'm sorry about that so let's just start with that one i'm trying to get back to it Do you know whenever i'm on track i think this is me now i'm like this with the gym as well i'm like this is me now i'm gonna upload every single day i'm gonna go to the gym every single day and then something happens i fall off track and we go back we, we go back to be being um not consistent and i hate myself when i'm not consistent anyway i've had a little bit of a funny week i mean it's not been bad but i just haven't been feeling like the best in myself and i don't really know why i think maybe this is a little bit too much information but it's the time of the month for me and i always have like a mild breakdown around that time i think maybe a lot of women can relate to that but i've just been feeling like not myself just really kind of like that lost feeling in life again which is a little bit crap because it's like the worst feeling ever but it's actually funny because my last vlog i was just feeling really great so that was about two weeks ago and it's just funny how things can change but the good thing is with that is if you're going through a bad patch you know that things are going to get better again because bad times and good times they never last most feelings are very temporary and you just gotta ride the wave and we'll get through to the other side but the joke is i've actually recorded the first 15 minutes of this vlog three times and i haven't re-recorded them because they were wrong or they were bad i re-recorded them because they're not kind of like consistent so they wouldn't even make sense so i originally started vlogging last weekend and last weekend i had all of these plans i was going to go to nobu to pilates with you all i was getting a full body scrub we were having a pamper weekend and instead of that i went out on friday night with my friends which if i have any footage which is okay enough for the internet i will insert now hi guys i said i was gonna vlog today i've vlogged absolutely nothing and i've just got to amazon at home and alicia was like you're vlogging today freya because you've not got your vlog camera out so for alicia <laughs> i've got hi, my vlog camera Jess. out we are just in amazon at home, about to order some food lissy do you want to be on the vlog as well <laughs> pretty enthusiastic <laughs> as usual <laughs> we're just waiting for our friends to arrive and i feel like i've been here so much the last few like months the food's always very nice just ordered a drink although i said i'm not getting drunk so we'll see how that goes <laughs> you're what vlogging yeah vlogging <laughs> oh fuck that tell us a bit about you I'm Pete, I'm getting old. Oh, she goes. Don't, don't vomit on the camera. And basically, I did, I kid you not, at least 10 shots of tequila. I got in at 2 a.m., and on Saturday, I was a complete right off i literally couldn't move so all the plans i had for the weekend and the great weekend vlog i had lined up all went to complete dust because i didn't do anything and since then i've just had a week full of work and it's been incredibly boring that was a very long intro to the vlog but i just felt i needed to get those things off of my chest and now i've done it we can have a good day i have what am I even doing today? I've got a lot of work to do, but I've also got lots to show you. I, of course, have some new bits in. A lot of it's like summery holiday clothes. And then later on, I've got a dinner for work and we're going to Hakkasan. I'll get to see a lot of my work friends, which is always super nice. And I'm also going to be organizing the whole of my kitchen. So I've really got into my head this last week that everything in my flat is just so unorganized. So I went a little bit crazy on Amazon and i bought a load of organizational things let me show you how many boxes are here so these three got delivered yesterday i don't know if anyone else feels like this but buying on amazon is actually an addiction like every single day i think of something like oh i could get that on amazon or i really need that i'm gonna order that and the thing is when you live in london this doesn't happen where i live in kent you might do in some parts of kent but not where i used to live your amazon order arrives within like four hours sometimes of you placing it which is just mental like it comes the same day it's actually like really quite lethal because I just order way too much. Before I start organizing all of this though, I'm gonna do the try on haul. But to do the try on haul, I need to move down the whole of my living room in order to film, which is always a little bit of a work up. I'm actually gonna film two videos today.
Honey, honey, I got what you want. This is the reason I want a smaller sofa, because if the sofa was smaller, I wouldn't have to move it, because it would just be like there, rather than take up half the living room. Yeah, I got what you need. set up the little area where I always film to lower the camera a bit. Before I start filming, I need something to eat. I don't really want to eat lunch yet, so I'm going to have a smoothie, which one of you guys said about putting dates in your smoothie. Oh my God, whoever said to me to do that, I love you because it's honestly made my smoothie so much nicer. I feel so smart with what I did here. Basically, all my bananas were going mouldy as I hadn't used them yet. So I put them, like I cut them in half and put them in the freezer. So when I put them in my smoothie, they're already frozen. I feel like everyone does this, but I don't know. I just feel so smart. Not bad, but I put too much water in it. I prefer it when it's a little bit thicker. Also need to take my vitamin. So this one is a probiotic. And then take this one from JS Health and this is for skin and digestion. This one is hair and energy. This one I feel like is actually one of my favorites nowadays. And this is a detox and de-bloat. And honestly, the difference in my bloating since taking this has been wild. And then these are the best tasting biotin gummies I've ever tried in my whole life. They're from this brand, I don't know if you can see, called Vegamore. They literally, I could eat the whole pot. I've actually eaten quite a lot. Like I've almost finished the jar. They're so good. So these are all the vitamins I take. Some of them are actually huge. Like look at the size of this, but they're actually not hard to swallow. And trust me, I'm so rubbish at swallowing tablets. The funniest thing is with me taking all these vitamins nowadays, like I've had this huge kind of like health kick and new me and all the rest of it where I want to like look after my body. I said this on Instagram the other day, but in my early twenties, I was wild festivals, raves, the lot, and didn't care what I was doing. And, you know, would never read about trying to keep my body good and everything. And now in my late twenties, suddenly I've become a health freak and want to completely transform my life. <laughs> my 20 year old self wouldn't recognize my 29 year old self really. It feels really weird being in my formal hall setup during a vlog, because usually I just do it in my dressing room. But I've just set all this up so I'm ready to film a more formal haul tomorrow. And I just thought I'd utilize the space in this vlog, because why not? I actually have quite a few things to show you guys. I've just filled up the rail. And most of it is from Naked Fashion, which I love Naked Fashion, honestly. So much of the clothes that I wear on an everyday basis are from them. They constantly have so much new stuff on their website. I'm literally forever refreshing the new in page to see what I can get next. A lot of the clothes I picked up were kind of like holiday vibe clothes. I don't really know why though, because I actually haven't got any holidays booked, which I'm gonna get some books. I think that's half the reason I haven't felt great this week. Like I need some things to look forward to, but I know a lot of you guys are going on holidays and stuff. So I kept that in mind when I was shopping. So what I'm gonna do as always in my hauls, I'm gonna try all of the pieces on, show you how they fit. And I also have a discount code for Naked, which I'll leave on screen. I'll leave it in the description box with all of the links for these clothes so you guys can go and shop everything from there. Now this look is very, very simple, but I often think that the simplest outfits are the best. So I have on a pair of linen shorts and a linen shirt. The linen shorts are so comfortable. They've got this elasticated waistband and a tie on them. I don't know if you can see it, but it's just there. They're actually quite a thick linen, so they're not very see-through at all. Actually, I don't even think can you see my knickers through them? I don't think they're that see-through at all. They've got pockets on them as well. And they're just really, really good quality. Then over the top, I put on this oversized linen shirt. I say oversized because it does come down quite long, which I really like. I think it's called a boyfriend style linen shirt. I actually have two of this exact same shirt because I bought the other one about a month ago, I'd say. And I just love the fit of it so much. And it's also that kind of linen that doesn't crease as much as other linens. It's kind of got a little bit of a strange feel to it, but it feels really comfortable at the same time. And the reason I got another one is because when one is dirty and in the wash, I didn't want to be without one this summer because I just know I'm going to wear it so, so much. As I've said, the outfit is very simple, just like an all white look. I think it would be perfect for 
a beach look or if you're on holiday and you're going for lunch imagine it with a hat on i've obviously just paired it with my white chanel and my white Hermes Aran. It's like an effortless, chic holiday look. Of course, in my opinion, you guys might not agree, but it's definitely something I would wear and will be wearing this summer when I book a holiday. But actually it would look really nice in London as well. And like a hot day, even if you're not on a beachy location, I think this works really well. Next we have the Coord set of dreams. And I feel absolutely myself in this outfit, mainly because it's a blazer and you all know how much <laughs> I love a blazer. If I just get a little bit closer so you guys can see the material, it's almost like this kind of like linen-y style material. And then we've got tortoiseshell buttons as well. The quality of this outfit feels insane. Like it feels so, so nice. And what it is, it's a co-ord set. So you've got the blazer and then you have the matching skirt. And it is an absolute dream. I've then obviously paired it with this little cropped white shirt just to style it up but of course you could wear it without the blazer and wear the skirt on its own with a shirt or a little t-shirt or something or you could wear the blazer on its own with a pair of jeans but together I say this word all the time but I think it looks so chic I think it's just such a classy vibe I absolutely love it I'm so happy with this outfit when I saw it online I kind of like already knew I was gonna love it but now I've put it on I'm obsessed. I feel like as well, it would be really lovely on holiday. Like you could definitely wear this abroad, especially without the jacket on as well. In like cooler climates like the UK or wherever it is you might live, I think this would be so lovely for drinks or even a daytime look with just a little pair of sandals, a handbag, and I just think it looks very put together, but also really nice as well. I ordered this dress kind of on a whim and I didn't really think I was going to like it. However, now it's on, I actually think it's really, really lovely. The only thing that looks a little bit strange, you guys might think this as well, is the fact that the cups look like I haven't got enough boobs to fill them, probably haven't, <laughs> but they're actually meant to be this kind of like ruched material on the side. But once you like realize that's just the design of the dress, I think it's gorgeous. Look at the um, little sort of bows on the top of the straps. I actually really love the print as well because I don't often wear florals. But I think the print's really lovely. It's kind of got a ruched side just here. I don't know if you can see that. And then it's got a zip up the side as well. These cups are actually underwired too, so you don't really need to wear a bra with it. But I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And it would be really perfect for a kind of, I've said this before about other dresses, but like really perfect for a barbecue or a summer party, even drinks with the girls in a pub garden, or even if you were going on a date. Although isn't this dress kind of like Pinterest vibes if you were sat having a picnic? I've never done that in my life, but I feel like this is a picnic inspired dress. <laughs> okay, this top is crochet, as you can see, and it is very see-through, but I put on with it a nude bra. Does it look weird? Like, obviously you can see the bra, but I feel like at the same time you almost can't see it because it's pretty much the same color as the top. But how lovely is this shirt? I thought it'd be really nice over the top of a bikini on holiday, but I've actually just popped it on with a pair of jeans. I think it looks really nice like this. I feel like you could either wear it on holiday or you could wear it here, which obviously to be honest with most of these clothes, you could do that. But how pretty is it? Like if I get a little bit up closer, you can see it and all the detail. And then the buttons are almost like a wood effect. I mean, they're not actually wood, but they look like they're wooden. It's so lovely and it's just so comfy as well. This is actually a size 10 and it is obviously very oversized. I think it's stunning. You'll have to let me know. Do you like it? I can't lie, guys. I love all of these clothes, but I'm actually struggling to do this haul because I just feel so body conscious at the moment. And I don't want to keep going on about it because I feel like it's all I've spoken about in my last few vlogs. But honestly, I just feel just so not myself at the moment. And I'm really struggling. <laughs> and I'm really struggling to do this haul. But I want to show you the clothes because they're really gorgeous. But anyway, this next dress is something that I actually saw online and just fell in love with it. It's this kind of like knitted material, but it's quite a lightweight knit material, so it would be really perfect for summer. And it comes down quite long, and then it's got a really tasselly bottom that goes to pretty much your ankles. And it's just really, really lovely. I don't know if you can see the tassels well, you'll be able to see it in the cutaway, I'm sure, right now. And it goes absolutely perfectly with my um, white and gold YSL college bag. I also have popped on a few more bangles because I think it would look really lovely with some real gold accessories. But truthfully, I don't have any kind of um, costume jewellery gold bangles, so I need to get some. But I think this would be a beautiful. Imagine in Ibiza or somewhere like that, Mykonos vibes. It's stunning. And also if I maybe put my hair up with it, 
in like a low bun. I think it would look great and it's really, really comfortable as well. I am wearing a size 10 in this and there's a lot of stretch which is always good to know. Next is a blazer, which is very oversized, but I adore the color of this. Don't actually have a blazer this color, which is a complete shock to myself and probably many of you, but it is chocolate brown and it's a dream. It does come down quite long. I've got it on with a pair of jeans, which is also from Naked, and a plain white t-shirt, which is also from Naked as well. So the whole outfit is from them. Just a very casual, everyday look, which, I know I'm going to wear over and over again because you know how much I love a pair of jeans, a white tee and any kind of colour blazer. I feel really comfortable in it, I feel really myself and I just think it's a really gorgeous colour. Isn't it funny how there's like certain styles of clothes you just put on and you're like, this is me. This is, this is me, this suits me and this is what I feel the most comfortable in. Like, blazers are my thing. And the last piece I have to show you is this shirt. It's a dream. It's kind of like this stripe effect, as you can see. Once again, like linen-y vibes. I feel like anything that's linen or this sort of style is always just so holiday vibes. Now, it is actually quite long, so you could, or I could get away with wearing it as a dress almost, as a little kind of beach cover-up. But one with a pair of jeans, just like this. I mean, it looks very similar to how, let's say, a white linen shirt would look, but it's this gorgeous kind of off-white beigey colour. And it's just stunning. It also doesn't crease very much either because of the material that it is. Even though it's like a linen style, it's not actually linen. And it feels and looks so expensive. It also comes with a matching skirt that has that little fringing on it as well, which is really pretty. I didn't actually pick that up, but I did pick up the shirt. And I think it's a dream. I can honestly say I'm so happy with so many of these pieces and I am so ready for the holiday that I don't even have booked yet. <laughs> Hopefully you guys have liked some of these pieces too. If you have, like I said in the beginning, everything will be linked down below, including the discount code. So do not forget about that. Even though the haul's finished, in real life, I haven't actually finished filming it yet because I've still got to film the cutaways. But I honestly need to make myself some lunch because I am starving. And for some reason, I just really, really, really fancy boiled eggs. I haven't had them in ages. And I kind of just, yeah, fancy eating some boiled eggs because why not try and get my protein in? I honestly, I've just, I'm just struggling at the minute, guys. I honestly, I don't want to keep going on about it because it's too much online. But I also like to share stuff like this because... I feel like if anyone else feels the same, it makes you feel like you're not alone. And it also makes me, like, makes you guys realise that I am just human. Even though you, I'm sure you all think that anyway. I mean, I'm a bit of an alien. Does any of you believe in aliens? Anyway. Um, but, like, doing that try and haul, I just feel so, like, not good in myself. And it's such an issue when, like, my job and what I do is showing, like, clothes online. And also my job is me. It's always my face. It's the way I look. It's my body. And I'm not complaining because I love my job and I love what I do and I feel so grateful, but it's just sometimes hard, especially when you're not feeling yourself. I need to get out this negative mindset that I'm in and stop like hating on myself and stop beating myself up about every little thing because it's so unhealthy and it's just not okay. Like the way I talk to myself is just not okay. Like I would never speak to another human the way that I speak to myself, especially just recently. Like it's just been... It's just been bad. This is really one of the most unappealing lunches ever, but I'm about to have these crisp things. I actually got these from the shop the other day. I've never seen them before, but I really love crackers and stuff like that. And these seem to be, they say they're high in fiber and they are rice instead of like whole wheat or something like that. So I just picked these up and I'm literally having it with boiled egg and tomato. I really know how to live, don't I? My cab is outside, but I thought I'd just quickly show you my outfit. I'm leaving um, for the event. I feel like my makeup looks really heavy and kind of nighttime-y, and it's currently 6 p.m. Um, I'll show you my outfit in full in like a cutaway. Um, but I need to go because I'm actually not late. The taxi's just early. morning guys well it's actually not good morning it's currently about three o'clock in the afternoon four o'clock i'm pretty hungover and i'm eating giant wopsies by the way these are the nicest things ever like they are my absolute favorite thing to eat i've basically eaten the entire bag 
but you know like a usual size what's it these are giants ones i actually look like a what's it right now with the color of my fake tan last night was so lovely i ended up staying out way later than i intended to i always go to these things and say i'm not drinking and i'm going to be back really early i was like planning on leaving at half nine and i ended up sitting in hakasan chatting to ellie we've not seen each other in so long i can't even tell you how long we just sat and chatted for hours and i got in at like 1 a.m actually i say i was really hungover i am a bit hungover but i definitely could have been worse it was like a very chilled night but it was really nice by the way how annoying and ugly is that plug in my living room and why is it upside down when i moved in i think it's meant to be because the tv is meant to be that side but there's windows there and if you put the tv there and then like your sofa back to the windows like it just i think that's just such a weird setup but the plug is just yeah so ugly however it's also very handy so when i'm sitting on the sofa it means i can sit here and um charge my phone or charge my laptop and it's actually like one of the best things about this whole flat <laughs> is the fact this ugly plug is in this position so when i eventually get my own house i need to have like a concealed plug behind the sofa because it's great for when you're sitting there i suppose i could get a um a plug with a long lead it's friday night and i'm gonna have a really chilled evening in on my own and i'm looking forward to it very much i'm gonna have an early night we'll try and have an early night like it is needed guys i just woke up from a nap and i just don't know what's wrong with me at the moment i just feel so deflated and down and i probably won't even put this in the vlog like i literally look so bad and crying on camera is just it looks so attention seeking and pathetic and it's so not what i'm doing but i don't know i just sometimes think that in life maybe it's good to share like when you're down especially when you do my job because we always make life look so perfect and i'm so grateful for my life and everything i have and I'm just, just going through such a down patch. I just feel like everything is a lot. Like, I actually need to see a therapist or something like that. I did years ago and then I haven't done it for such a long time. If any of you know any good therapists, let me know. Or a life coach, maybe. But it's just not normal to cry as much as I have been just recently. Anyway. I probably am never going to put this footage anywhere. <laughs> like, I need to pull myself together. I'm going to have an early night. You know what doesn't help? Getting drunk. Like, I should stop drinking. I don't really drink that often. I drank, like, last Friday and yesterday. But, I mean, I could go, like, three months and not have a drink. But, in reality, I think I should just stop drinking altogether. I know it's a bit boring, but... It just makes me feel like shit and it definitely makes you a bit depressed the next day, doesn't it? It just makes you feel anxious and horrible. And I've definitely felt that way today. I think another thing that really gets to me when I'm down is like, I feel like bad for feeling down, if that makes sense. Like, lots of people are so much worse off than me and like, then I beat myself up for feeling a type of way. It's just really hard, like sometimes isn't it life like i don't know why i keep trying to put up my hair because it just keeps falling down yeah life is just sometimes kind of hard i am so hot unfortunately i don't mean sexy hot i mean um hot and cold <laughs> do you know what a little boy when i used to work at the restaurant um once said that to me his last name was french like it was a french name and he, he told me what it was. It was really random. I was literally just serving them lunch. And I and I said, what's your name? Like that, because he was really chatty. And he said, I can't remember what his first name was, but he said his last name. And he said, and it means hot, but not as in sexy hot. It means hot and cold. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, good morning, everyone. I have just finished doing my hair, which is the reason I am so warm. I'm getting myself ready as I'm actually going to Notting Hill. To so that should be nice. I am basically all out of my favourite base which is mac face and body honestly this stuff is well it's just my fave it's so nice underneath your makeup or as just foundation it's really thin and lightweight on your skin but just gives you 
enough coverage it's so lovely in summer like i use it always when i'm on holiday it's one of their oldest products to be fair it's nothing new but i am a mac girl and have been for years through and through anyway i left you yesterday because i was so hungover i mean i wasn't as hungover as i was the week before but it wasn't great last night i just cleaned my apartment and then i watched grace i think i said to you already about it i don't know if i inserted that clip but um it's on itv hub it's so good if any of you have watched it that last episode like we need we need new episodes when are they when are they going to come out we need them like now it's brilliant guys if you're into like crime and stuff like that go and watch it i don't mean like you're into doing crime but if you're into watching things like murders and stuff honestly it's so so good itv hub then i had a bit of a breakdown as well last night i did it's so weird that i actually filmed a bit of it which sounds so strange because i was vlogging yesterday i kind of turned on my vlog camera and was like this is so weird that i'm filming myself literally have a breakdown like my eyes are still puffy from the amount that i cried yesterday um i don't even know if i'll insert any of it because i think i look so ugly and i think it's kind of like a weird thing to do is like put yourself so vulnerable and crying on the internet it kind of looks like you're doing it for sympathy and I'm absolutely never, ever, ever doing that. But, you know, especially on YouTube, I love to be, like, real with you guys and show you, like, my good days and my bad days, which, obviously, we all have, like, we all have good days and bad days. Not every day can be great, and not every day, luckily, is bad. Um, I've just, yeah, I've just been going through a bit of a bad patch at the moment. But it's fine. The time will pass. And I definitely feel better today after a full night's sleep. And I think, for me, what doesn't help is drinking alcohol. Like... Drinking alcohol, well, it is, it is like, I think it's a depressant, right? It's not good. I actually drank gin the night before as well, which, yeah, they say it's mother's ruin, don't they? But then I did actually go to a gin um, making class one time and they actually said that's like a myth and gin is no different to drinking vodka. But I do often think it makes me feel different. By the way, foundation, I'm using Luminous Silk. Sorry, the bottle of this one looks so gross. In shade 6.5 and 4.5 and I mix them together. You don't need to do that, it's just basically one's too dark, one's too light and I didn't want to buy the one in between because it's just a lot of foundation to buy. And you know what, with this foundation, I try so many different foundations and I go back to this one every single time. It's just, it's just my favourite. It's like enough coverage but also not cakey, it's not thick, I feel like my skin can still breathe. I just feel like it's the best foundation for my skin. I'm forever buying new foundations and trying them, and then I just always go back to that. But just a skin update, I mean, I always say this, and then the next day I'll wake up with a giant spot, so maybe I shouldn't jinx myself. But guys, my skin is just... It's just, it's just the best it's been in such a long time. This week I actually have a facial booked in, which I've not had in ages, because sometimes facials like give me spots. But I feel like my skin sort of needs it. Um, I'm looking a little bit old in places at the moment. So I feel like I need to get into like regular facials again. So I have one booked this week, but my skin right now, yeah, it's fantastic. But then a few weeks ago I was moaning because my skin was actually terrible, like swings and roundabouts. Next up for contour, I use the Fenty Stick in the shade Mocha. I'm just popping it onto um, the parts of my face I like to contour with um, this Sigma brush, which is really, really good. It's like a stippling brush. Is that what you call it? I've got to feel like such an MUA right now. I used to really kind of like stripe on my contour, but I think it always looks really harsh. And I kind of prefer this more subtle look by just popping it on with a brush. And for highlight, this is one of my absolute favourite products. And if you haven't tried it, you need to try it because it's the best. So it's from Rodial and it is their Banana Low Lighter. This is what it looks like. You only need the tiniest bit and it's not cakey. It's just, it's just the most amazing product. I love it so much. So I use it like underneath my contour, underneath my under eyes, just to brighten my face up. I'm so hot, I've had to take my dressing gown down. For powder, my favourite powder ever. I think I've gone through, like I kid you not, like over 10 of these powders because i just love it so much it's the charlotte tilbury flawless finish and it literally it does exactly that it's kind of like airbrushing on your skin and once again not cakey at all it's actually meant to be like not a very nice day today and so far it's blooming lovely then for my brows i actually dyed them this morning you guys know i love dyeing my brows at home myself i've been trying to limit it though to every two weeks because it's just really not good for my eyebrow hair like it actually falls out i've taken off any foundation that was sort of like sat in there gonna brush them up 
And then I just kind of fill in any of the sparse areas with this brow pencil, which is Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's my favorite. This is in the shade Soft Brown. It's just like really natural and it's really blendable. And I love it. Then we have my favorite highlight. It's also from MAC and this is Soft and Gentle, it's called. And it basically is what it says it is. It's just really soft and gentle. It's really nice as like an everyday highlight because it's not too, it's just not too much. Like it gives you a bit of highlight without being too harsh. Then for eyeliner, a lot of you might already know this. I use a um, brown eyeshadow, shadow or shadow on the end of a little brush like this. This is also from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I just pop it into the corner of my eye using this end. It's really simple. Drag it back over the top. I used to make my wing like really big and now, especially for daytimes, I just try and keep it like really small. And a little bit of Max Fix Plus, my favorite product. I usually actually put this on before I do my makeup, but I forgot today, so that's not great. This is in my opinion, the best nude lip liner ever. I've been using this, I kid you not, for like probably pushing 10 years. So it is Mac Boldly Bare and it's just, it's just a dream. It also goes perfectly with MAC kind of sexy lipstick, but I don't want to put on lipstick today because we're going for like a more of a natural look, even though you guys are probably thinking, this is a lot of makeup for a natural look. Then I'm using this. This is honestly one of the most amazing products I've ever used. It's like kind of new to me. I spoke about it in a video not so long ago, but it is this Hourglass lipstick. It's in the shade Mist. I know they're sold out. Put yourself on a waiting list because it's a lip gloss lipstick in one it's just so nice then my eyelashes now this is a trick that you guys might all know but i think i'm really clever doing it but basically look how straight my natural eyelashes are they're also so long at the moment but they're just so straight like they literally grow like this and actually they used to be curly but then i got lash extensions for years and ruined my eyelashes and then they all grew back straight anyway i often get lvl but for me lvl it looks great for like a couple of weeks and then it makes my eyelashes all crispy and then eventually they all just kind of like fall out and it takes them so long to recover so as much as i like getting that done it's just not great so i do this instead you need an eyelash curler these are the tweezerman ones and in my opinion they are the best then i have my hair dryer this is my ghd one my um dyson doesn't work for this because it doesn't actually get hot enough and what you do is you literally blow dry the curlers Basically, you're going to make them heated. After you've done it, make sure they're not too hot because they will be really, really hot. You need a metal eyelash curler, by the way. So wait for them to cool down a little bit. And then you're going to curl your eyelashes with them like a little bit heated up. So, and then just clamp them in for a few seconds or however long you'd usually curl your eyelashes for. And I know eyelash curlers, they, they do work even if the lash curler isn't heated. But it doesn't, the curl just doesn't last on me. Whereas by heating them up, it's like curling your hair, basically. If you add heat to your hair, the curls stay. And then I release. There we have it. Look at the difference between my two sets of eyelashes. I have these really annoying eyelashes on the side here that never stay in place. And I know a lot of you out there are probably thinking that must be really bad for your eyelashes. Doing that every day, heating them up. It's basically like curling your hair every day. But for me, in my experience, it's much better than getting LVL. Then this mascara, fantastic. I feel like every single product I'm talking about, I'm like, this is the best ever, but... I'm kind of a little bit set in my ways with my makeup. So once I like a product, I use it to death and usually for years. So this is the Hourglass um, Unlocked Mascara. And it is so, so, so good. Why is it so hard to talk and do mascara at the same time? There we have it. It's not clumpy or anything at all. And then I'm going to do exactly the same thing to this eye. Can we just have a moment though, guys, for how long my eyelashes are? Like, look at the length of them. I've been using um, UK Lash because I I find that lash serums, they work, but only work for a certain amount of time. So I use X Lash. I used to use, I've used them all, but I used UK Lash for ages and then I moved to X Lash and then I felt like X Lash just stopped working. So I then moved back to UK Lash and I've been back at UK Lash, how many times can I say the word lash, for um, the last few months and look at my eyelashes. Do you know what the most annoying thing is? Today, I don't know why, my eyelashes are starting to drop. I've just said to you that if you heat your curlers, they last all day, but why are they dropping? That's very annoying. That is my everyday, easy, quick, even though it maybe didn't seem that quick, but it was actually really quick, makeup routine. And once again, it might not like look very natural to you guys, but to me, this is like not too much foundation, like very minimal foundation and... 
yeah, it's like my just everyday fresh easy makeup. So this is my outfit that's like not even an outfit. <laughs> well, it is an outfit, but it's nothing crazy. It is literally my Lululemon gym set. And then I have on my Chanel trainers and my Palm Springs mini. And this is it. Basically, I'm going to meet my friend, but then I'm going to be walking home. Oh, my ears really ringing. Yeah, I'm going to be walking home. So I want to be comfortable and in clothing I can power walk in. Look at these flowers on a tree in London. It's like I'm in bloom in Spain. I love Notting Hill, guys. I actually kind of wish I lived here. It's just such a nice area of London. It's cute little shops. Everywhere is just so picturesque. Look how beautiful it is. I don't actually spend enough time here. I mean, look at this now. Wow. No. Guys, look how cute this place is. Look at this. Like, honestly, what a dream. How good does this sound? So nice, but I don't eat hams, that's a bit awkward. Oh, we have a little friend here. Hello, doggy. Hello. Are you gonna bite me? <laughs> Oh, he's got brown nose. I know, how cute is he? Or she? Here is our breakfast. I've gone for the veggie with, um, well, you can see what it is. I have spotted, I've got a bit of eggshell in it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Abby's gone for the full English. Very nice. Good morning, guys. I left you yesterday. Today is a whole new day. My hair is kind of like, I felt like I was training it into not getting so greasy, but this is day two hair. And to be quite frank with you, it is an absolute mess, but we move. I am just about to unbox everything I got from Amazon. Um, I've actually got an addiction for shopping on Amazon. Like it's become such an issue. But what I decided is I'm gonna become this organized person and I'm sick of my fridge and my kitchen and most of my apartment to be fair, just being an unorganized mess, including myself and my entire life. But basically, I said this in my last vlog, but I saw someone on TikTok organizing their fridge and their kitchen and it just inspired me to do the same. So let's do it. I thought we'd do it together. I actually really love watching organizing videos and um, I thought you guys might find this kind of like interesting at the same time. You might want to do it yourselves. Why not? So I'm going to show you the current state of my fridge and this cupboard because they're the two things that I'm going to organize. Um, I'm just going to expose myself because why not? So hello MTV Cribs, this is, uh oh, my fridge. Yeah, so it is absolutely bursting at the seams. I have to say a lot of this stuff needs to go in the bin, but I've kind of let it get this kind of bad so we can do a really good before and after. And then this is the current situation with this cupboard. Now I have kind of started a little bit because I got these jars for the stuff that I am um, using in my smoothies but it just needs to be done properly. Okay, so these are the first boxes. It's a bit hard buying this kind of stuff online because you never really know what size it's gonna be. I mean, I tried to like look at the measurements, but it just never really turns up how you think it's gonna be. But these are meant to be really good because you can store water in them as well. And then they have these little like vents so things don't go off. Why am I doing this by the way, guys? I feel like suddenly, I'm 95, I'm wanting to do really sensible things in my life. But this is a really good size. Maybe I could put things like spinach in here, maybe. You know, I bought all this stuff last week and I actually cannot remember what half of it is. Like, I can't even remember what I ordered. is all cleared out and cleaned let's start filling all of these up i just did an order on get here which honestly i'm obsessed with ordering from them i got some giant watsits i got some hen's eggs basically all of this stuff is to fill up my jars tomatoes two packs of them mushrooms this hip chocolate so good fish fingers pasta rice
scampi. I never had this before, but it looked kind of nice. It was really expensive though. Some wraps and some corn chicken nuggets. ready to see my masterpiece <laughs> honestly guys it's really not that great but it's a work in progress um and it looks a lot better than it did before but i feel like i don't know where all my food's gone because suddenly i feel like my fridge is empty so here we go here is the new organized fridge so top shelf we have drinks next shelf we have the eggs the cheese the yogurts this shelf we have a very lousy amount of berries but I'm gonna go to the shops, gonna go get some more berries and fill up that shelf there. And then we have mushrooms, tomatoes, avocados, lemon and ginger. And then we have a tub of spinach, which actually I need to open the little breathing vent down there. And then I'm gonna fill the other tub probably with kale. But to be honest guys, my fridge is actually never that full because I only use things in the fridge for smoothies and just little snacks and stuff. But yeah, I don't know where all my food's gone. And then this is the improvement of the cupboard. Once again, what have I done with everything? <laughs> So we've got pastas, crackers, tea bags, and then we've got granola in here. I want to get more of these for cereal. And then these are all of the ingredients I use for my smoothies, sugar and chia seeds. I am now looking at this mess and thinking, was it even worth it? Because I feel like it's going to take the next hour to clear all this stuff up. I feel like when I get some more ingredients and a couple more of these... It will all come together, hopefully. I mean, I don't even know I'm doing this because honestly, that cupboard is going to stay like that for five minutes, but the thought was there. Before I go, I feel like this video has been a roller coaster of emotions. It has been a very weird week for myself. Um, I actually haven't edited this vlog yet, so I don't know how much I'm going to include in this vlog of things that have gone on, but I feel a little bit better today. Tomorrow is Monday, it's a new day for all of us, a new week, a fresh start, and I hope if you guys have been having a bad week, better things are on the way. I'm sending you all so much love. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will hopefully see you in my next video. Take care guys. Bye bye.